Hi on there, um, hope you're well. Welcome back here to Busy Bee Budgets, um, where we um, are on a journey to financial independence and more specifically being much more intentional with how I spend my money and track my money. So prior to starting this journey, which is almost a year for me now, I started last February, um, although I've always been lucky to have a high income, it was kind of coming going out as fast as it was coming in and um, I didn't have any kind of approach to sinking funds or anything like that. And so a big bill came in one month, I'd pay it, but like it just meant that there was always this kind of feast and famine stuff going on. And so I wanted to be more intentional about my money. And so I started cash stuffing and budgeting and it's just been fantastic. Um, and I think in part has given me the confidence to for us to move and get like essentially our dream house because I now understand how like all the budget will work and how I can track my money and achieve everything I want to do but I just need to do it in a more systematic way. So I feel like it's taking control back. Um, I say like we weren't in financial challenges or anything but it was just like, you know, you work really hard, don't you? You go to work every day and then sometimes it felt like, I don't know, you were just kind of running to keep still but budgeting has kind of changed all of that for me. So I've done my January budget video so check that out if you're interested because there's been quite a few changes for me and quite a few new habits I'm trying to um, implement and I think that's the thing for me about budgeting is it's an ever evolving process and you know different priorities come and go and last year for me it was about getting to grips with everything I guess and getting much more into the flow and I think that's why these weekly check-ins are good because you get um you kind of just get yeah get used to checking in and kind of considering what you've done um I've lost my completely lost my train of thought but anyway let's go on shall we um so I've got 470 to stuff today and um, plus a, a few extras and um, so I've got 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 420, 440, 450, 460, 470. So I've got 470 which is my um, budget and um, the first thing to do is to clear out my existing budget. Uh, budget binders. So this is my everyday binder um, and I use a combination of this if I'll take it out of my bag allows it or I've got some smaller envelopes like this one um, which um, I put into my min purse if I don't want to take my binder out because sometimes you don't want to take all the cash out um, and it's easier than kind of swapping it in and out. So in food I've got left uh, £1, 10 15 17 19 So £1.19. So I'm going to put that in my penny challenge but I'm going to do that off camera so you don't have to hear the annoying noise um but i'll go in my pen challenge i've got nothing left in fuel uh, nothing left in spends nothing left in miscellaneous giving i've got 10 20 30 um so what i'm going to do is put that to one side and what i do is if there's money left over in this envelope at the end of the month um i give that to my local food bank via an online donation um because much as obviously the food is great it's also great for them to be able to buy what they need or to pay for running costs um, and so I do that online and then I've got 30 pounds left in fitness 2030 um, which was a combination of um, uh, stuff shutting down for Christmas a bit of illness whatever so I didn't do as much um, paid exercise as I was planning on so I'm going to put that to one side and add that in to my savings challenges so I'm going to do that over there um, and then I've added in a rollover envelope to this binder um, because what I want to do for January, it's a bit different, is um, sometimes like say that fitness one, there might be money left over, um, but I don't want to put it straight into a savings account so I can never access it again. So I'm going to pop it in the rollover envelope and then um, have it during the rest of the month in case I need to dip into it for anything else. So I don't know about you guys, but sometimes what I'll do is if one category is a bit short, I'll borrow it off another. Um, but what I'm aiming to do is that that will become what the rollover envelope is for. So basically anything that on a weekly basis I think I don't need anymore, I'll pop it in the rollover one and then I can, it can be used as a bit of a slush fund um, for anything of the others that need it. So, um, first one that's going to get stuffed is food. Now this is due to get 100 but what I'm going to do is this week, well throughout January I've set myself a number of um, challenges to talk about in my January budget video. And the first challenge I'm going to do this week is um, £50 food shop. So I us would usually stuff £100 into food, but this week I'm going to stuff £50. 
um, because I want to try doing chicken tuna, a 50 pound food chocolate soup. It's a combination of, we've still got some bits hanging about after Christmas and I've got freezer stuff that needs to be used up. Um, and also my husband's away this week and that has a massive impact on our, on our um, food budget. So what I'm gonna do then is put 50 into food. Um, but because I've budgeted it, as in I've counted it here, I don't want to put it straight into a savings plan. So I'm going, what I'm going to do is put 50 into that rollover envelope. Um, so that um, if I need it, it is there to access. Um, but uh, I'm hoping that 50 pounds will be fine. Um, if you've watched my video, you'll hear me say this again. But um, when my husband's away, I have a bit of a bad tendency of treating myself to more expensive food um so by cutting down my food chop this week that will kind of mean that that won't happen and that'd be more intentional um i'm going to need to get some more tender notes i didn't really count how many i needed and i've got lots of 50s so uh bear with me two sets i'm just going to get some more tens and some of the 20s out sorry about that i just realized i didn't have enough uh 10 so what i'm going to do is put fuel in um 150 to 20 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140. It's higher than usual. Um, and then 150. So it's dropping it on the floor. Um, it's higher than usual um, for a couple of reasons. I was finding 100 pounds was a bit tight. Um, and this month I know I've got loads of driving and um, we're going to a wedding and going for a weekend away. And um, so there'll be like long journeys in there. So I'm gonna up it to 150. Um, but also I know I've got some expenses coming from some of the trips I did for work last month um, so I'll put that into the fuel as well if I need to kind of top it up um, and I think I need to think about up until this point when I've been in cash budgeting I haven't been doing that much tra uh, car travel for work but that's changing as kind of the world's opening back up again um, and when I do do that I get expenses back from work or mileage back from work and I haven't worked out a system yet of building that in so I guess what I think I'm going to start doing is perhaps paying for all my fuel on credit card and then paying the credit card off with the expenses I get back. So it may well be that I start to reduce the amount I stuff in fuel because that, that's starting to happen, but I just need a separate way of keeping track of it. So I think that's what I'm going to do um, this month, um, but we'll kind of see where we get to. Um, Spencer's getting 150 this week. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, um, and then 150. And as um, I kind of previously said, um, I have amalgamated, I used to have an envelope for spends, social, and something else, self-care. Um, but it was kind of, I guess it was just getting a little bit like robbing Peter to pay Paul and moving it across. And I think it would just be, I found it more helpful just to have one category where everything that basically is my spending or my treats Kind of comes out of that spends money rather than thinking oh well like a spa trip with friends is that self-care or is that social or like without worrying too much about it so I've just simplified it down that seems to be working miscellaneous is going to get 10 and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to give fitness 40 this week instead of the 50s so i've got out of tens and then i'm going to put 20 into giving but what I will do is not stuff that next week, if that makes sense, and give fitness an extra um, whatever. So I'm going to write that down to 40 on there, change next week to 30, and then uh, giving's got 20, and I'm going to stuff nothing next week. So it will just slightly change where I'm stuffing next week, but nothing major. So that is my everyday binder. And then I am going to start my sinking funds. So first I've had a bit of a play around in my sinking funds. So this is my grown up sinking funds, um, which I was lucky enough to be able to front stuff. So basically I have stuffed all the major categories in here. Uh, so, um, and I did that combination of what was in my existing sinking funds and what uh, was um, I had from a bonus from work. So I stuffed 5,000 pounds into my sinking funds. And so I've got a thousand in emergency, I've got 250 in health, I've got 500 in vets, got 500 in gifts i've got um 1250 in car maintenance so that covers um rac mot got all acronyms isn't it um car tax uh, car insurance um hopefully and anything repairs that need to happen will kind of come up here and um, experiences is getting um had 
thousands, but I didn't have any placeholders at the time. These gorgeous ones um, have come from where I've ordered them from Budget with Ira, and they're just gorgeous. Uh, so lovely denominations, love it. I think this is acetate. Is it acetate? Um, but great colour. So I'm going to pop the thousand pound into experiences. Um, but what I will be doing is spending out of these. So my plan is for some of them that I will replenish them. Um, but for others, once they're gone, they're gone. So we'll kind of see how that goes. Um, I've got £100 in home, and that's the start of my home renovation fund from the new house. Um, and as I've talked about um, in my budget video, what I'm doing is this month aiming to start building up a month ahead fund, um, which um, will be funded by me putting more money into my bills account for the next few months until we move um, at the higher bills rate. So at the moment, my household bills come to about £1,400. They'll be going up to three and a half thousand. I want to pay as if they had already gone up, if that makes sense. So I'll have that buffer um, so that by the time we move, we have a month ahead. And I'll continue to kind of build that. And then financial goals is something that in the new April budget, um, we're going to be stuffing on a regular basis. So that leaves me with my treats envelope. Let me pop that to one side. Um, which is the fun stuff. So um, what I'm going to do is I've got some extra money to stuff from this budget um, and I've got a couple of new envelopes so I think what I'm going to do is stuff my sinking funds in a separate video because I need to get the cash and sort that all out but I'll be adding the £30 in from the flavour from fitness I've got 15, 20, uh, 16, 27 sorry um, from I sold something online so that income will come in and then my £200 left over from my um budget from this for this week so i'll do that in a separate video because it's all a bit confusing and i need to get some bits and pieces together um but i will see you um in that video hopefully if not check me out in week two next week of cash stuff um and we'll see where we get to okay hope you have a lovely day take care bye